I've got 20 truckloads of red dirt coming that we're going to use to build up the driveway area. So I've already removed all of this gravel that Ozark Middle Buildings had put down. And I, I moved it over here to this pile just because I didn't want to bury all of this expensive limestone with cheap red dirt. So we've got a pretty good elevation difference here versus over there. So we're gonna start all the dirt here, the piles here, and I'll use the tractor to start spreading it out and leveling all of this all the way out about 50, 60 feet. So I'm gonna try to build up this driveway area to be level with the bottom of the barn, 60 feet wide. So the 40 foot, 40 foot width of the barn plus another 15 to 20 feet or so for parking on the RV which will be over here. So this is why I need this level and higher so that way the septic can go into the to the RV dump station back there. So because it's gravity fed, I need to have the RV higher than that than this pipe over here. So this is where I'm going to tie in for the RV and then I've got my water and then my power will be also here. So 30 and 50 amp service right here. So all the hookups, full hookup for an RV will be right here in this back corner. And then this will all be filled up and leveled out all the way out. got a big driveway project. 20 loads of red dirt were delivered. I've been spreading it out over the last couple weeks and getting this all level and then with the roadway to connect into the other road. As you can see we now have a sort of a road that connects into where 
the camper currently is at. I've already started putting some gravel down, some of the gravel I had left over from before. So we've got a nice roadway that's somewhat level, brought up to grade with the barn. So it's gradually slopes up. If you remember, the grade of the barn was uh, much higher than the natural grade here, especially on this back corner. You can see how deep the red clay is right here. So one of the reasons we needed this to all be level, right here, at least this top section by the, by the barn here in this corner. So we'll have water, electric and septic all in the corner of the barn there. So that way we can park the RV right here on this level spot and then have all of this open space to use 